today from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. Name for the legendary coach and co-founder of the Bengals. Here's a good look at Paul Brown Stadium on the riverfront in Cincinnati. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Houston Texans. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes Deshaun Watson, ready to captain the ship here for this Houston offense. Everything you want in a starting quarterback in the NFL, especially in the physical category. If you have the idea that he's one of those rah-rah, spit-and-fire guys, he's not that at all but he has a will to win that really the team picks up on and they can't wait to follow him into victory. And they'll begin by running the option. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Good sizable run there by Deshaun Watson on the RPO. That's in his DNA as a quarterback. He's been doing that since high school. He understands the RPO game as well as any quarterback in the league, and he makes excellent decisions. And when he takes off and goes, his team's pretty happy about it. for the first time with Philip Lindsay. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Second and 11 now. Watson stepping up. He's going to keep it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Watson. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. 
How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here come the Bengals, and CD, of course, it's Joe Burrow out of LSU at quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Five yards remain on second down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's third and five. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Watson will bring up the Texans here. First and 10, right at the 30. He'll throw from the gun. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Out of the gun, Watson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A first carry now. This is Johnson, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, 
Their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and 10. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. First down, it's Watson. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. To throw again on second down. Watson, screen pass to Lindsey. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 30. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they run the option here on first and 10. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsey. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for Watson. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the Texans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Watson going to try and run it. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. Second and goal from the six this time. 
Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. From the gun on third, Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Kiki QT on the reception from Deshaun Watson. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. The return man, Wilson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it will result in a fresh set of downs. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Right there, in the middle, 55. 
back to Mixon on first down. Shoves him aside and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow firing quickly here, and that's complete. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Burrow looking to pass. Flushed out right. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his eyes downfield, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. Fourth and goal, and down by a touchdown. The offense stays on the field. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this Texans defense stands tall. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen Hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Cincinnati set to take over once again. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on fourth, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Tackle made by Whitney Merciless. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there.
So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's Burrow. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Burrow. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now it's Burrow. This pass complete to Higgins. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 32-yard line. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Burrow. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Burrow will throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. C.J. Uzama, 32 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that. Ran with it all the way to the end zone. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Come on now, let's make it happen, baby. Let's make it happen. It's the time. Set to take over again to Sean Watson and this Texans offense. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow... You can make this a positive, though. You know why? Game tied now. So you're not protecting a lead. So you're not playing that way. You've got to go get the lead again. So maybe it loosens him up a little bit and allows him to go ahead and be a little more free in his play. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 27. And he'll throw right away. He'll find Lindsey here. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The Texans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Come on, let's go. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And he finds a man on the crossing route. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. That's a good-looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there.
They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down, even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me I, too. For, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To the air again, Burrow. He's got his man, Boyd. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And Burrow going to throw again. Open man is Higgins. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 13-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And he 
he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a Bengals score. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Roberts on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here again comes Joe Burrow in the offense for the Bengals. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code word your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What's that Fly? route you love? What's that oh, route you four love? Verts. Four verts. Yeah. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. The Bengals drive about to get going. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm glad I wouldn't change it. it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Burrow on play action. He'll find his man on the comeback route, complete. 
And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now Joe Mixon. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now Burrow to throw on second down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's got this down to the 35. It's an 11 yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one, not the case. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second down, here's Burrow. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 20-yard line. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Mixon with a first down carry. And he will take it out in for a Bengals' touchdown. Taking it in from the 20. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Cybert on for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Roberts now on the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 
So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Watson on first down. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the gun, here's Watson. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. Here's Watson. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another 18-yard gain. They had 18 on the previous snap as well. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. First and 10, Watson. Open man is QT, complete. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Out of the gun, Watson. Flush to his right. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. Stepping up, he'll try and run. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So they come out with one back and three tight ends. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. 
Logan Wilson able to take him down. It's a loss of three. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Operating from the gun, Watson. And got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT on the reception from Deshaun Watson. And the Texans draw a bit closer. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Now it's Wilson. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want him to catch the football first. On second down, Burrow. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now Burrow on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's got this down to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. On first down, Mixon. 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. This will be caught inside the 10. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That one goes for 30 yards. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. From a yard out. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Here's Cyber now to add the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Roberts on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Back now in Cincinnati. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, Watson. This is Akins hauling in the short pass. That catch good for five. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Texans on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and two. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. First down, it's Watson. Screen pass to Lindsey. 
And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Again, it's Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Seibert on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Roberts now on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Okay. And now out comes Houston. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 27. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. He'll get five out of the scramble, it's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. <laughs> on first down, Watson. And now he'll tuck it and run. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw, so maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Down throw, Watson. They'll roll him out right. And now he's going to use his legs. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Watson stepping up. He's going to keep it, and he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it, and that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They go to Johnson again. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Texans on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Kiki QT on the reception from Deshaun Watson. And the Texans cut into that lead. Well, yes, that's his third touchdown catch, which is very impressive, but on the scoreboard, they're still struggling. So safe to say that without him, my goodness, yikes, they are in major league trouble. He's doing his best to try and keep them in the game. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drives seven plays in length, and it results in the Texans finding the end zone. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Ready to go on offense, out come the Bengals. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives, and a two-score lead. I think here now you just, you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. <laughs> I say, run the football, you've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 
A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the run, it's Mixon. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second down, here's Mixon. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third and one, Burrow firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. They'll run with Mixon. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Now mix it. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. 
So that drive goes eight plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Roberts on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. They're down big here late. I, I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Here's Watson throwing on first down. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. The Clemson product, D.J. Reader, got in for the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Eluding the pressure right. Finding room at the 30. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Watson now on first and 10. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Man open left side is Brown. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. To throw is Watson on first down. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again is Watson. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with 13 seconds left to play. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Watson looks to throw again. And he's going to have the hook up to QT. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. 
they will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.